Hey everybody, hi, happy Friday. Woohoo, we made it through the week. At least I did. It has been another roller coaster of a week in the mortgage land. Um, rates went up on Monday, Tuesday, down Wednesday, Thursday, creeping up a little teeny itty bit today, but still historically low, historically great. And, and honest to goodness, there's just not a better time to purchase a house or refi your house or it's been um, really awesome for a lot of people because it, it's, it's helpful. Um, but I wanted to cover something that has come up a lot this week, tons. And it's the question of should you pay points or should you not pay points? What the heck are points anyway? And why do I even care about them? And why would I want to pay anything for my loan? Um, well, I wanted to go over that just briefly, really briefly, because it gets a little more detailed and I'm always happy to go over any of your specific situation, but I just wanted to give you just a general idea of what it, what it means and what it doesn't mean. So points is a really nice way that lenders say uh, cost. So a point is a percentage of a loan. So if it's one point, it's 1% 1 of your loan. Just to keep math really easy, Let's say you had a loan for $200,000, one point, two grand, right? Okay, so we got that out of the way. So what you wanna do is figure out if, 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 you know, if, you have a, if you're buying a house and you've got one rate and it's at what we call par or no cost to you, the next rate might be 1,000 or 2,000. Let's just say it's 2,000 just for, whatever, giggles. If it's $2,000, you wanna look at that if that $2,000 is worth it, and how do you know? Well, it's very simple math, and if your loan officer doesn't know how to do simple math, you might need a new loan officer, but just saying. So let's say the difference in the payment from the par rate, the zero rate, to the one that's $2,000 is $10 and honest to goodness, it could be, it could be that small. So what you wanna do is you take the $2,000 and you divide it by $10 and you get your number. And then you take 12 and divide it again. And that tells you how many months it would take you to recoup the cost of the $2,000. So it's really important that you are a little bit clear on how long do you anticipate you'll be in that house. Now, really, are you going to stay there and raise a family? Uh, are you going to stay there and then maybe flip it to an investment property later on? Are you going to stay there and stay for 20 years? Are you going to be relocated with your job? There's all these, you know, what ifs. But in general, we all kind of know we're going to be there for X amount of time. Now, just so you know, there's a statistic that says that the average American moves every five to seven years. So keep that in mind. The other thing that it's important to know is that nobody in there ever will ever keep a mortgage for 30 years. So get that 30 year thing out, out of your mind. Or maybe you want to pay your mortgage off. And so you're looking at a 15 year. So all of these factors come into play. Bottom line is, it's important to know the big picture because I get it. It's you want to know your monthly payment. Everybody, I do. I'm, I'm assuming you do. But know that, but also know how do I build the most wealth or the most equity in my house? And, and if I'm going to stay there for seven years, 10 years, I want to set myself up with a great game plan from the get go. I don't want to be doing this refi dance every year. So um, it, it, it's, it's an interesting thing to look at. And so I would love to figure that out for you if you want to. Um, and also I want to answer any questions you have about points. So the flip side of points are rebates, credits. So it's another way of saying a credit. A rebate, you might go the other way in the rate. And I know everybody freaks out if I have a higher rate, but again, if you're, depending on your specific situation, that might be something you wanna look at. Why would you pay money that you can't recoup? So 
that's where I get to do what I love to do, which is play with Rubik's Cubes and puzzles and figure it out. So if you ever want that done, um, I have some really cool little analysis tools that can help you figure out, um, you know, whether it's a refi or maybe you're doing a debt consolidation and you want to see how much money can you save with a cash out refi. Um, speaking of cash out refis, there's, well, you can't do it with a cash out refi, which is what jogged my, my memory. But um, right now I have a lender that's anywhere, their rates are anywhere between 2.5 and 3%. Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. So some of those come with some costs, but if you crunch the numbers, it may be the best thing for you or your family or you and your family. It might really be beneficial. So imagine having 2.5% mortgage. That's unheard of because right now they're historically low. So anyway, that was really quick, very high level from the moon, moon's eye view, not a bird's eye view, but a moon's eye view of what points and credits and rebates and all that kind of stuff means. So I hope that you guys are enjoy, you get to enjoy your weekend. Arizona is kind of opening slowly, which is kind of exciting. The gym's back open. Uh, group fitness isn't yet, but supposedly next week. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that and getting back to teaching and working out kind of, you know, with other people, which is always something I love to do. But um, have an awesome weekend, everybody. Stay safe. Bring a mask in your car because some places require a mask, some places don't. Would love to hear what you think of these masks. I know there's a lot of people with very strong opinions, so um, keep it classy if you're going to comment, but I'd love to really know what you think. I wore a mask and I got my nails done the other day and it worked out just perfect. So have a lovely weekend. Um, and I look forward to chatting with you or seeing you next week. Bye, everybody. I can never find the button.